Okay, so having rotated your phone uh, horizontally, uh, this is the screen that you will see. In the center of the page is the Q icon, that is where I'm located at present, so I'm not at the beach. But no, no problem, I can still set the mission up from here. The first thing to do is to connect uh, to the boat. So what you would do is you would click on the icon, the Q icon on the top left hand corner of the phone. On the left hand side you'll see a drop down window that says general com links or flight maps etc. Click on com links. Right then scroll down the center until you find your name um, and in this instance it's going to be workshop hc 5 Click on that then push connect. Manual flight mode. Okay the green bar running across the top of the screen tells you that you are now connecting. It's busy downloading the parameters that are programmed uh, into the autopilot. Uh, it won't take a moment and then we will continue. Right, now we want to create a mission. So we click on that icon, which looks like a skid mark with two balloons. We want to create a new plan. So we want a blank. Starts like that. On the right hand side of the page it says create plan. Yes, no, yes. Yes, we do. Click on yes. All right, let's bring this down a little bit so we can get perspective. Okay, so now you can see the boat is registering, uh, represented by the arrowhead, and it's facing out into the ocean. That's a very important aspect. Um, you basically, if I would move the boat, if I would turn it, you'll see the arrowhead will change direction. So for now, Let's just say that's the direction I want the boat to send out in. Okay, um, the very first thing to do is to is to mark where you want the boat to take off from or where you're going to be launching. So we click on the left hand side, it says take off, click on that, then drag the takeoff point down to the water's edge, put it in the water, something like that, just in the water. It needs to be in the water, it can't be on the beach, it needs to be a little ways in. Um, right, something like that. It's still in line with the arrowhead. Right, I'll move the screen again. I'll keep the arrowhead facing just in the top left hand corner. Let's see, there we go. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so first thing now is to create your first waypoint. Touch on there. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I've got to add a waypoint. Sorry, you mark there. Touch on waypoint, then there okay that becomes your first waypoint now if you look at it carefully along the top the top taskbar you'll see that in the center of the page or in the center of the taskbar it says distance now <laughs> um, where you would normally drop your bait probably three to four hundred meters so you'd bring this back let's just say it's 400 meters for now we'll take it back to 400 meters there we go and we'll straighten it up so it's in line with the arrowhead so it sails out in that direction the screen up a little I'd like to keep the arrow there right the next part um, you create another waypoint by touching just next to that but that waypoint is not actually a waypoint it's going to be a qualification for waypoint two meaning that you want something to happen at waypoint two and what do you want to have happen you want the you want the bait to be released at that point so we'll get back to that we'll use waypoint three as a qualification uh, for waypoint two shortly I'll bring it back to there okay now you want after after you drop the bait off you want the boat to sail a little deeper and to one side of the line and the side you choose will be opposite to the bow in the line and once you've done four then you'll the boat will sail from four back to five we can drag five bring it back now you don't bring it all the way back to the beach you bring it to a point where you're going to take back manual control to beach the craft um, so you'll see it's it's not quite parallel so essentially you go away and then you sail back towards the line so if you had a couple of rods you could actually sail in between them uh, if if the lines were well set all right now we need to go back and we need to qualify waypoint two um, actually four is very far it's sailing a very long way away we can go there and do that straighten it up a little bit
Right, there we go. <clears throat> All right, so now we want to go and qualify waypoint two. All right, to make the change or to qualify waypoint two, you have to disconnect. Uh, you can't, you can't get to the advanced settings whilst you're connected to the boat. So click back on the top left corner, click back on the Q icon, go to disconnect, disconnect the boat, go back to your mission. All right, now we go to, now we are on waypoints, now we click on waypoint, it will bring up a screen called basic, it says basic, click on basic, go down to advanced, click on advanced, right now scroll through this drop down window until you find a heading that says set servo, click on set servo, which servo, it's servo number six that we have to change, or we want to select, so click six, that's done. And what we wanted to do, we want servo to open the bait tray. So, and what, what is the throw value? It's going to be, it's always going to be one, nine, four, eight. Click on done. Okay, so now we've qualified waypoint two. You'll see that three has disappeared. So two is where the bait tray will open. Uh, three was three qualified two, so it's going to go one, two, four, five. And that's it. We've now we've now done we've now set up the mission, um, and now we have to upload it to the boat. Click on that again.